This is part one of many tutorials I'm going to do in Microsoft Visual Studio 2010 Professional. Um, I'm going to show you how to make application, web browsers, things like that, and C++ and more all into this application to make your own Windows application for your PC. Um, one thing you're going to need is actually the program itself. If you don't have Microsoft Visual Studio 2010 Professional, I'll have a link down below to that and also to my Twitter and also to this application of uh, what I made and you can download it if you want this application. It's very cool. What we're going to do is we're going to make a speech to text box. So what you're going to do is open up the application. Application open. You're going to go to new project. Then you want to go to install templates Windows Windows form application and you want to change the name of the file. You want to go and I'm actually going to uh, name this make me talk. I'm going to capitalize this and I'm going to add that there and click OK. And let's go ahead and go to build the application. What you want to do now is make this a little bit bigger to your liking if you want to. I'm actually going to make it uh, right there. Now the first thing we want to do is change the icon and change the name right up here. So we're going to be under form1, system.windows.form.form. We're going to go here to the text tool and we're going to rename this make me talk and you can see right here it did change it make me talk now the next thing we're going to do is add an icon if you scroll down make sure we're still under form one system dot windows dot form dot form under icon we're going to go ahead and click this button right here it should open up a um, open button or open folder and what we're going to do is make sure you download an ICO image um, I'm not sure if you can make this in Photoshop, but if you can, go ahead and make a photo in Photoshop or Paint, whatever you want to use. Or you can go to file, iconfile.com and download the, an ICO image off that website. I'm going to go to download, or my desktop actually, or downloads. And I'm going to use this uh, icon right here that I got off the internet. It's a .ico. Make sure it's a .ico or it will not work. Go ahead and click open. Now that automatically go ahead and change that icon right there. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add a text box, a label, and two buttons. So we're going to button one, button two, we're going to add a label, and we're actually going to add a text box. So now we got basically everything we want in here. So we're going to go move this around. Now the button two, we're going to have over here in the corner, I'm actually going to make this a little bit smaller. Like right there and we're going to add this button 2 down here in the bottom right corner and the button 1 in the other bottom corner just like so you can see it did line itself up through the lines you can see right here um, next thing we're going to do is we're going to remove this label over here in the, in the corner and we're going to add this right here and we're going to click this little arrow and add multiple lines that will make it a lot bigger so we can move this to our liking you can see it did automatically make it to itself and the first thing we're going to do is click label and make sure you're under properties label one or you can go in here and do it like this go ahead and make sure you're on label one system that windows that form that label the next thing we're going to go to is we're going to go to text and we're going to name this make me talk version 1.0 you can see just like that and we can move this around just like so and we can have that right there I'm actually going to kill the 1.1 1.0 and the next thing we're going to do is actually change the button so we're going to click on the button make sure we're on button one windows system dot windows dot form dot button and you can see right here is text and we're going to name this to OK you can see it changed there and click button 2 make sure you're under properties button 2 system dot windows dot form dot button and we're going to name this to end. You can see it did change those two buttons. Now the next thing we're going to do is go ahead and double click the button, the OK button. This is going to be our first button. So this is the button that's going to make it the actual the computer to talk. Um, down below I have a link to this this code right here. So what we're going to do is actually just copy the DIM slash, uh, all the way to text. Go ahead and copy that code and we're going to move this over. 
and right in here you want to make sure it's under the V go ahead and click control V to paste it in there and all you need to do is go ahead and exit out of that we're done with that button now we're going to double click N and the next thing we're going to type in is capital E N D and that's it we're done now we put it in the code we added the buttons we added the pictures we added the text and everything so we can go ahead and exit out of this now the next thing we want to do if you want to add any film so if you want to add any text or anything like that you can do that now what we're going to do is go ahead and click save save all it should save all projects go to build build make me talk now if build successful then it's, we're going to go to visual studios 10 we're going to go to projects make me talk make me talk bin debug make me talk exe if we double click that you can see here it is here's the project we just made so we can go in here we can head and type in anything we want we can type in hello how are you today YouTube and add a question mark and hit OK hello how are you today YouTube and go ahead and click and and, it, and like we said kills the application so that's basically it now the next thing you want to do is you can go ahead and exit out of this and we're going to go to build publish make me talk and this is going to put us in our we're going to it's going to create the .exe file and put it in the publish uh, folder if you don't want it there you can go ahead and browse and put it anywhere you want I'm actually going to just publish the publish folder go ahead and click finish and you can see start building publish building publishing and it's doing all the little codes you can see it pops up here's the exe file um, you can go ahead and put this in a dot zip file or a red wire file or whatever you want to put it and stick it on the internet so other people can download your program and here's the make me top dot application one click application it launches the application once I have not installed it so it's going to have to install it first you can see right here here's make me talk we can type in once again H-E-L-O-O -O, hello YouTube question mark hit OK hello YouTube and there is the make me talk speech to text um, program so that's about it um, if you want to see more tutorials like, like, like this go ahead and click that subscribe button right up top Go ahead and leave a comment down below if you have any problems going through this, if you have any questions, any tutorial ideas on um, Microsoft Visual Studios 2010 Professional, go ahead and leave a comment, comment down below and I'll make a, uh, a video for you guys. I'll see you in tomorrow's video.